Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I am participating in a collaboration, an open collaboration challenge, and this is called the Fall Wreath Challenge. And this is hosted by Deco Easy and My Happy Home. And what the ladies want us to do is to create a fall wreath and use at least one thrifted item of your liking and have fun. So I will link both of their channels in my description box along with the link of the playlist. So if you guys are interested and you want to see what I came up with in my fall wreath, just keep on watching. Okay, the items that you would be using for this DIY is this thrifted wreath that I got. And it has been used, as you can see, this is just some glue residue on there, but I can take care of that. Then I have a few pine cones in the center here. A couple of them have the leaves on there, and these are just plain. Then I've got some pretty flowers, these white ones, and uh, orangey yellowish. Also, I will be using these cute little pumpkin picks. They're so adorable. I have an S monogram letter that I will be using. Then I have some wire cutters a paintbrush, I have some craft glue, Mod Podge. You can use any kind of glue that you want. And this Craft Smart Glue. This is the acrylic paint. And our glue gun and glue sticks. So if you guys wanna see how I turn this into a nice fall wreath, just keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this little paper plate that you see and I'm going to squeeze out some crafts glue and I hope that's enough and I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to paint this monogram letter white start off with a little bit And you want to paint the entire letter white. It's done, so I'm just gonna put it aside and let it dry real good. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, cut the stems off of this, cut these flowers off. So I'm gonna cut all the stems down to about, uh, about an inch, inch and a half. Just like this. And I've got so many flowers to cut, so I'm gonna cut all the stems off, all the flowers off the stems, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got all my flowers chopped off the limbs <laughs> and I've uh, got them in this little bushy pile here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take my reef and I'm going to attach them to the reef and make it nice and pretty for you. So stay tuned. And now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to start gluing the flowers in and around the reef. But you know what? Technically, you don't really need any glue. You can just stick them down in the groove of, you know, in between here and it will stay. But I wanted a little bit more permanent, so I'm just going to put a little glue. And before I decided um, how I was going to do this, I did go ahead and place all of the flowers down in an area, you know, in an arrangement of how I wanted them so that I would know, you know, exactly where I want to place the flowers at. This is very easy to do. Um, for some reason, I, I don't mind. I like making reefs because they're so simple. And I wanted mine to be a little simple anyway. I didn't want to do a whole lot to it. Um simply because you know I'm always changing and I'll probably most likely I'm not sure yet but I most likely will use this same reef uh, for Christmas maybe so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and when I come back you guys will see the final look of this nice reef Okay, here's the reveal of my fall wreath. I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out really cute. Here's the monogram S. And there are my pine cones. And my flowers with the little two pumpkins. I actually like this. I think it turned out really cute. And I just wanted something simple. I didn't want to do too much to it. I just wanted to uh, just create something uh, white colored and fresh looking. Just something simple for the fall. I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see in this video, please go ahead. I would like to invite you to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a member of the Home Decorating with Liz channel. And to all my other friends, thank you guys so much for coming back. You know what, guys? I love you and appreciate you supporting me once again. And everyone have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.